Oh, it's a super Evo light. It's got quite a big seat plate area. Very firm in, inside the harness. It's kind of firm foam on either side and structure that supports you on the sides and along up the back. Got a decent sized pocket on this side. I've got my whole stabilizer camera in there. And the normal sort of straps layout that you'd expect. Nice and tidy reserve set up on the side here. It's got seven leaves that you put together to tie it together. Um, in a good position, feels pretty secure. Nicely um, trapped by this little stretchy layer here. So it's gonna stay in position nicely, I think. The pretty deep foam protection quite compressible so it's really nice for packing the glider away it's uh, compresses down nicely but it gives you good protection I think runs all the way around to about there and then there's still some foam up the top slightly thinner leg strap there with the quick buckles One thing to be aware of in this style of harness is you need to tighten these up more than you expect to keep the harness from sliding up. So these need to be tight. I've got it set up with a stirrup and the speed bar just behind it like that. So you might like to launch the stirrup if you just put it like that and it's easy to run off and hook into your stirrup, it doesn't get in the way. These straps are very easy to adjust. You pull that down there. This little tab here, you release it, it goes both ways, so very easy, very comfortable. Put straps on the side here to adjust the angle, and one there, which lifts the seat board up slightly, keeps your legs in, but if you put the stirrup on then you don't need to lift that up so much and it's a little bit more comfortable for flying for a long time. The Evo light is pretty comfortable on the ground it's not restricting my movement in any way um, even with the leg straps done up pretty tight it's comfortable to run around on the slope. Yeah, Evo light. Okay, just had a, a good two hours up there in the sky. Um, yeah, lovely harness. Very nice, comfortable. Um, it was holding me nicely and in great position. It was easy to adjust in the air, so if I needed to change things, I could. Um, it was quite comfortable on the stirrup for gliding. That was quite nice. And I felt actually when I went into thermaling, it was nice to drop the stirrup and just to sit with one leg over the other. I love that feeling. Gives you a nice quick turn and I felt the harness was um, secure. It wasn't restricting my movement but it certainly didn't feel like I was flopping around in the sky. It felt like it was holding me nicely. Um, fairly nicely balanced. Um, I wasn't sliding around in the harness at all. Getting in and out was pretty easy. The only thing you must remember to do is do your leg straps up tight. So overall I love the finish. Um, lovely fabric they've used here. It's kind of a slippery but it looks very durable. Um, it's a nice styling on it. It does compress reasonably when you pack it which is quite nice so that you can actually get it into a normal bag and you've got a big volume in the back to pack bags, lunch and whatever else you have in there. So it's a very good choice as a first harness coming out of school 
you want to get something that you going to have your legs free and you can run around on the slope easily um, but it allows you that freedom that when you want to you can add the pod and you can step up to being full cross-country mode I certainly felt that uh, in the cold conditions it would would have been nice to have had the pod on um, but it was certainly very comfy flying it legs free and it's a good all-round harness nicely made Let's do it, lads. Off we go.